the skylines. So this video will be a brief and very basic introduction to the road editor, a new feature that just launched uh, today, actually. And so to get there, you go to the editors and then go to asset editor and go new, then select a, a, a theme. doesn't really matter which one you choose and hit select and it'll load up real quick. Uh, so this video will be very, very basic. I'm not a uh, real asset creator, but I know it, it's kind of intimidating to look at this, but there's some very simple things you can do with your roads that don't require much, uh, much advanced editing. So then you want to go to road, hit continue, and then what you want to do is you want to pick which one you want to edit. Uh, I don't know how to uh, change some of the textures or make wider roads or things like that. I think it's best to leave that to people who do know how to do textures and, and things like that. But what you can do is say we want to um, add some trees to the four lane road with, uh, I think these are bicycle paths. Pick that, hit continue. Then you want to go down here to place your custom road and you're just going to put it down so you can see what you're working with. And then there are things you can do over here in the road properties. Properties here, you can change the width and things like that, but that is where you start to get into the more complicated things. And you may, I think you may need uh, a different texture to make it wider. So we'll just leave it at 16 wide. A lot of this we're not going to uh, mess with in the basic properties, but there are some things that you can do uh, you can change create pavement to create gravel and so then you can see on the sides it is gravel instead of pavement so that's one thing you could change there um, you could change the traffic light so it won't generate traffic lights you could turn on and off uh, zoning for the ro road you can change the amount of noise the noise radius, the construction cost, maintenance cost, all the basic stuff right there. Then in your lanes, what you see here is zero is the center line. So then vehicle car 4.5 will be 4.5, which I think is over here. So, and actually that would be right here. We know because you can look at the, the road and see, okay, 4.5 is there. So this one, the width is SIPs on there if you click on that. So you have three there, three there to make SIPs wide with zero as the center line. Then 4.5 is here, so this will be three wide. And you can see it covers three uh, units this way. And you could change the direction of that lane. You could do backward, so now this lane is going that way, and this lane is going that way. Or you could uh, change the lane type. Now that gets into what types of things are going on in that lane. Vehicle, you can then choose what type of vehicle. Um, this is where it gets more complicated because if you add a, say, a tram, this road doesn't have any texture for the tram. So I don't recommend doing that. I think you should just leave that as car. You could make it public transport instead though. And so then that essentially becomes a bus lane. And then what you can do with that is then in props, you can add different props for that specific lane. So let's say add new. And we just made this into a bus lane. So go here and click on the public transit props and we'll do a bus stop, select. And now you can see bus stops appeared. So we can change the um, distance or the angle. This is where you want to change it to a 90 degree angle. So now it's that way. Maybe turn it minus five. That's too far. Minus 1.5. Now it's kind of on the curb. So that's one thing you could do there. Or 
what is more likely that you would want to do for a bus lane is to go back to prop and come down to uh, let's see actually that might that's on a that's a road prop so you want bus lane and what that does is it adds this texture here this is where you could turn backward forward like that so that is one thing you could do there now what we were going to do was add trees over here so what I've done is now we're on the pedestrian minus 14 so we're actually going to be over on this side and what we're going to do is just come down here and if there's anything we don't like here we could take it off like say the uh, random street prop let's take those off and add new and if you have custom assets you can place them in here so for example I have right now the London plane tree which is a, a common tree in real life on the side of a road and so if you select that you can see it has shown up here and you can change the repeat distance which modifies how far apart the trees are so say we want them to be only 10 units apart now it's a pretty close tree or if you want it to be really thick you could hit oh, no, zero doesn't work one that makes it mad too so yeah leave it at 10 and you have some pretty close things there and if you really wanted to if you had an asset that was a, a little planter box which I didn't uh, set up one to be ready for this but let's use oh flower garden we'll use that for our example here hit select and then you can uh, put the repeat distance the same as the other one and you see they kind of line up there if that were a better box it would look a little bit nicer there but uh, so those are some of the very basic things that you can do and um, if you wanted to in the center you could take out the avenue light and just delete it so now there's no light on this road so I mean there's a whole lot of different things you could do to make this road into whatever you want it to be and I hope that that will help you to customize your own roads a little bit more and uh, I, I still recommend if you want really fancy nice looking new roads that are wider or things like that that maybe if you know how to uh, do texture modeling then you can get into things that in segments you can add different uh, texture models and things like that but that's where it gets more complicated and uh, I think most people will be able to use this editor without going into too many complicated things so anyway I hope you liked this video if you did then please hit the like button if you didn't, then uh, too bad, and uh, maybe check out my channel to see if there is other stuff you might like. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.